everybody? Welcome back to the J Team Brand Podcast. It's your host, Josh Pizarro. And today I have a super special guest. I strictly brought you on for my clients because <laughs> you're in the finance field. You have a lot going on with uh, World Financial Group. Uh, so I want you to introduce yourself to our audience and give a little bit about your background in finance and what World Financial Group offers. Awesome, awesome. So my name is Chantel Sanchez. I'm a financial professional here at World Financial Group and Transamerica Financial Advisors. Here at World Financial Group, we definitely teach families how to grow, protect, and save their income. And we do, we do that by providing them education, okay. right? Education that's mostly reserved for you know, the wealthy, right? <laughs> and why is it reserved? Because they are able to access it due to their wealth, Agreed. right? So definitely here we try to educate families first at all times, but then we also offer a business opportunity which people are able to be put in a path that can guide them to financial freedom. Financial freedom. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. So you, you kind of explained that pretty smoothly, <laughs> so that's good. So now in regards to some, well, before we even get into the financial services, how did you get into the business? That's a great you question. don't come from a finance background. I really no, about no. That. As as a matter of fact, I barely even come from this country, oh, right? Okay. I was I, I was actually born in the Dominican Republic. I came here when I was four Latina. years old. Yes. All right, yes. all right. We got but I was Latina. born in the Bronx. Okay. okay. Right? So I was born in the Bronx, and through my childhood, I definitely saw my parents being very, very money motivated. Okay. That's good. So much that I would barely get to see my parents, right? Because my mom, mm -hmm. with being pregnant, on top of that, she worked 16 hours. At a salon. You got the hustle from mommy. I, I got the hustle from mommy. I'll tell you that much. And my father, too, he still works at a bodega. Okay. Right? So from the morning to the nighttime. So when do I see my parents? Barely ever at that okay. time. So then moving forward, my mom decided to branch out, created her own salon. She had her own business. Amazing. And it lasted about maybe from 2011, 2017. Okay. And I say it lasted because, of course, she knew how to generate the income. Okay. But what was she missing? financial education. Uh, My mom, amazing. she was brought here, she didn't even know how to work a credit card. Wow, and she got as far as six years as a business owner, so yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, that's most definitely. definitely. So definitely blessed to have that education, or at least th those life lessons, but okay. I definitely mm -hmm. wanted to have my own understanding of how money works, and I thought that I was gonna find that when I went to college. Mm -hmm. So much, I even went to, to LaGuardia, right? Really, really great school. I started studying radiology. I went there. We spoke about that. Yeah, <laughs> radiology wasn't so much for me. You okay. know, I, I learned a couple things that didn't sit well with me, you know. Yeah. I had told you, yeah. but um, I, that. after that, I actually branched into criminal justice, okay. right? And it's not that I woke up one day and said, hey, I want to be a probation officer. I want to be a corrections officer. It's just I wanted to understand how people work. Okay. or more so what makes the people in our communities, what makes them end up in the certain situations that they... Mindsets behind it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So in time, aside from, you know, associations, mm -hmm. of course, like if you don't have the guidance from home or, and you don't have the proper guidance in school or at least you you're not it. using the proper guidance from school, where do you seek it? Agreed. In the streets. Agreed. What's in the streets? Not... <laughs> everything Nothing good else. right it's not the best you, you know what I mean but um definitely there one thing that I learned is that they were missing one big thing education financial literacy financial literacy right mm -hmm. because of course if you don't find it through a job mm -hmm. what are you gonna do you're gonna go to the streets and you're gonna do your People thing think that there's only there. one way to make money and that's working for somebody else exactly and giving up your time for hourly pay which isn't true you could always also always make your money work for you and this is where the financial literacy part comes into play so I'm super excited to bring you on because the reason why I come from a real estate background, um, my goal uh, for my real estate brand is to get anywhere between 50 to 100 people every year um, on the road to awesome. financial freedom and home ownership. Uh, one thing that I learned through real estate um, and through real estate is where I learned most of my finance, you know, kind of savviness. Because like you yeah. said, I don't come from a background of finance. I don't come from back of real estate. So the best way for me to learn was to throw myself out there. Definitely. Um, and when I did, I learned the principles of ownership is such a key to wealth building mm -hmm. in general and just owning your own home. Something as simple as living and owning your own home is, I think it's like the second wealth builder in the world. Most you know, definitely. When it comes to, you know, just wealth building in general. So, you know, super excited. So you said you got um, in through... Uh, 
what was it? I went to LaGuardia. LaGuardia. So there I had actually met a friend of mine, somebody who I could consider her like a sister. Okay. We were in a communications class, and she had actually been introduced to the business before me, but she definitely wanted to extend the opportunity to me. And I remember one time we were going home after class, and she was like, hey, what are you doing on a Wednesday night? And I'm like... Yeah. Working, <laughs> working. Yeah. Hit the matrix. Yeah, and at the time I was doing overnights, and I used to work in Times Square in the Forever My 21, so, <laughs> you know, I wasn't looking forward to doing overnight when I could have been sleeping. But um, I definitely was open to opportunity. She mm -hmm. told me there was a woman in Wall Street. She had multiple offices. She was just building, you know, her brand, and she had uh, operation here, and I heard woman in Wall Street. I'm like, wait a second. What is that? I want to know, because this is not common. Agreed. Right? You never, where you rarely ever see <clears throat> women um, make, showing face here in Wall Street, putting their foot down, be like, hey, like, this is my, you know, this is my... My, my baby. This is what I do. Like, right? <laughs> so I was definitely intrigued. And I came here. I learned so many things that first time. And it's been history since how long, there. How long have you been here? It's about to be exactly a year. Nice. Yeah. And you've been moving up the ladder pretty fast. I mean, to be director of expansion here. You know, I see how you move in the office. I see how you <laughs> gather the troops. I see how you get them riled up. It's, it's, it's interesting. And not only that, exciting to see another woman, especially a Latina. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. you know, it, woman entrepreneurship deserves just as much attention as entrepreneurship in, when it comes to the yeah. male species and shit. Because at the end of the day, dude, we have <laughs> so many billionaires. I mean, excuse me, not so many billionaires. We have male billionaires that are talked about often, but we don't speak about the women entrepreneurs, the ones that are actually making change, society yeah. changes and everything. I mean, I love what some of the politicians are doing. So. It's a beautiful thing just to, you know. Most definitely. That. We actually celebrate that, right? We actually really? have events every year called Women in Wealth, and we celebrate women who are entrepreneurs nice. and women who are, you know, doing their thing in any type of industry, right? Because okay. many industries are male-dominated, right? But now women are switching that up. As a, matter of, as a matter of fact, our platform is able to have many female advisors. Amazing. As a matter of fact, top advisors are mostly female. You know what I mean? Right. So it's, it's a blessing to be part of an organization right. that's able to allow women to finally, right. or at least to, to grow and be show their strengths and mm -hmm. show what they're really capable of. And, you know, girl power all the way. Yeah, so I'm definitely right. looking forward to our next Women in Wealth, definitely um, in so May 29th. There, so is there, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, so our that. next Women in Wealth will be on May 29th. The location, we are still working those things out. Okay. A couple meetings coming soon. But definitely that is an event that I'm completely looking for. Awesome. Very, very key here. Yeah, no, that's exciting, that's exciting. So now that we got into your background, let's talk about some of the services. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, we spoke about financial wealth, financial literacy. What are some of the key steps that a client can take before even see seeking a financial advisor? Mm -hmm. What are some of the steps that a, a client can take for themselves before coming to, let's just say, World Financial Group? Well, of course, many steps people could take. They could, you know, find their own education if they would like. Okay. However, how many do? How many actually do that? Yeah. I right. Mean, how many people do you nor? How many people do you normally see like see seeking a financial professional? Agreed. Right. We can ask our community. Have you ever sat down with one? They'll be like, "What's that?" Yeah. For the most part. And they part. think it costs money. Which yes. Is another, exactly. A misconception, which I'm glad that we're we exactly this out. sitting with a financial professional, going over your financial needs is. Yeah, much. so we sit, that's actually Zero. at no cost. It's 100% complimentary, cost, right? Guys. Because, like I have mentioned to you before, most banks, if you don't have over 250K, they will not let mm. you in those glass doors. So we actually provide that service 100% complimentary because you definitely want to make sure that we're educating people as much as possible and mm -hmm. we're able to provide that same opportunity for them to sit down with a financial professional so we can go over whatever your financial situation is exactly. and see if, you know, anything we can recommend or suggest to you, and we can move on forward with that. Love it, I absolutely love it. And one thing that I have noticed, especially in our community, is mm -hmm. that people are scared of actually looking at their finances. Yeah. People are definitely scared to even look at their credit report, their credit scores. And these are things that I tell my clients, especially, I urge them, mm -hmm. I tell them, listen, like, look at it, because it gives you your health. It's no different from going to a doctor and saying, hey, you're healthy. Yeah. Well, hey, you need to do this, this, and this to get yourself healthy financially. Yeah, there are steps. Exactly. There are steps that we have to take, and it's just a matter of, you know, learning how to 
you have to see whether you want to <clears throat> you want to have your money keep controlling you okay. or you finally getting in control of your money Agreed. right because our community is so accustomed to going to college and working the 40 hours for 40 mm -hmm. years and then when they're 65 that's when they finally they think that that's their chance to live mm -hmm. no i wasn't born here to live at 65 God forbid, who knows if I'll make it to 65, mm -hmm. you know? And protecting yourself on the way. Most, most definitely. It's not even educated again, you know, within our community. One thing I do with my Instagram often, and people that follow me, I throw out a lot of free just, I call it free game. Mm -hmm. Free game, I just put out a lot of information on my storyline. That's great. And, you know, you take it and you run with it. Like, uh, for instance, something as simple as a life insurance policy mm -hmm. that has cash value at the end of it if you don't use it. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that our you know, community doesn't really have an education behind, right? So imagine you start a, uh, a life insurance policy at 18 and 20 years, you know, you have some cash value where you can actually now borrow against that and use it for a down payment mm -hmm. on a house. That would, that would have set all of us 10 years ahead of the game. Yeah, most you know, definitely. Of but of course, it goes back to providing back the education because uh -huh. it's never too late to, you know, make a, a course correct. Agreed. Right? It's never too late just... The time is now, time right? Is One thing that now. definitely my mentors here told me is that you don't have to be great to get started, but you got to get started to be great. Agreed. Right? Agreed. Absolutely. The time right. is definitely now. And, in, and especially now where, like, I mean, we're dealing with an economy that's growing. Most um, definitely. It's, uh, we, let, we, let's talk about a little bit about compounding interest. Mm -hmm. This is something that our clients or, you know, our people aren't really educated about. Mm -hmm. So compounding interest is... What for something in uh, let's just say in lamest terms, how do how do you explain compounding interest to somebody that doesn't really understand investing or anything like that? It's what definitely you... very simple. You just take seventy two, which is actually the rule of seventy two, okay. right? Which is actually was created that. by um, one of our fa famous educators, which is Albert Einstein, okay. right? So he created the rule of seventy two. What you do with that is you take seventy two divided by the interest rate or the savings amount that your banks are giving you, and it will give you the amount of time it will take for your money to duplicate, right? But the thing take is, your out, guys. Take but your the thing is out. that <laughs> most banks or most people, not they're sure. not, you know, paying attention to these things. So mm -hmm. you have to think about it. Am I putting my, or am I investing my money in a location that's giving me a high rate of return or a very low rate of return? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's definitely something that we have to educate the community on. Agreed. And especially, let's talk about a little bit about, uh, uh, savings in a bank. Mm -hmm. So there's something that's called inflation. Right? Yes. Every year, every the, the world free market, whatever you want to call it, I don't know how, how do you want to get to it, but inflation rate, meaning your cost of living, mm -hmm. right? Is that a 3% a year? 2 to 3. 2 to 3%, three right? And banks are offering how much interest if you save your so money? About, definitely usually less than 1%. Less so than 1%. I've seen banks give about 0.01. <laughs> 0 0.001, things of that nature. So imagine if you're growing your money in an account that's lower than inflation. Inflation. You're losing you're money losing safely. Money. Mm -hmm. You're losing money safely. I, I love yes. when you said that the other day, because I mean, this is something again that I, I've spoken to clients one on one behind. And when it's almost like when you explain inflation and you explain the rate of return, it's like a light bulb kicks in. It's like, yeah. holy shit, I'm actually losing money. Yeah, it's safely because it's buy. in the bank, yeah. right? It's FDIC insured, but then you're losing money because you're low, growing at a very low rate of return. Exactly, exactly. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm, thank you so much for thank coming Thank you for on. the amazing opportunity. Yes, yes. And so let's, before you go, I want you to share any events that uh, World Financial Group may be having. You know, I do want to get some of my clients out here. March 28th, by the way, we will be teaming up on a seminar. Guys, you don't want to miss it at PS20 in the Lower East Side. You're going to see it all over my Instagram. Um, I'm going to share, obviously, flyers with you. We're going to give out a lot more detailed information in regards to getting your finances right, getting on the road to financial freedom, and home ownership. You know, I'm really big on home ownership at the end of the day, man. I, I, I'm excited for my brother. My brother actually just got pre-approved. Oh, I'm glad. He's about to buy a home. He's worked the program, part of the program that I've been working with him, and you know, just witnessing people grow for me is exciting. So, you know, That's this partnership key. is just like, yes, guys, look what I can offer you now. Like That's another thing. Our, our community, although we come from a very loving community, just sometimes New York in general, like how they say, is very grimy. Yeah. Right? When it so, comes to money. <laughs> anything, right? Because we're so accustomed to. Well, how would I say it? Living in a community where it's like you have to survive. 
and you know everything. whether you a good kid or mm -hmm. not you, you come from needing to survive right so it's every it's like every man for themselves so we have to change this mindset, mindset of like let's help my peers right mm -hmm. let's help my family let's help my brother my sister like mm -hmm. we're, we're all a community so we have to help bring each other up Agreed. right it's no no family no man left behind you know mm -hmm. what i mean but Definitely, definitely looking forward to working with you in the future as Thank well. Excited. Um, a couple of events that we will be having very soon is in March on the 21st. It is a Super Saturday event, and here you're just going to learn how to how basically how money works and how money can work for you as well. Uh, one of the best leaders in our organization, Greg Cap, he is going to be there just sharing some beautiful nuggets on you know how to get to financial freedom and, and also this, is located at 40 exchange. this will be happening i believe in the skyline hotel Skyline Hotel. Mm -hmm. gotcha. and then we have the woman and wealth which is going to be on may 29th this event is definitely just and it's men could come you know inviting, listen, who I'm knows i'm inviting all my female friend entrepreneurs who knows maybe you could even find your beautiful wife and she's already <laughs> money motivated so you don't have to look too hard right but um definitely we're gonna just be paying homage to all the beautiful women that are doing a lot of great things in our community you know so a lot of great things are going to be happening i'm excited i'm excited to be a part of the growth and i'm excited to like again be to, to be able to offer the services because free financial education, guys, you don't have to. Go yeah, to and all I'm charging you is your time. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't have to search online because, listen, information is now a commodity and you don't know where to grab it. It's accessible. Right? Information is accessible, mm -hmm. but you had to get the right one exactly. and implement it. That's implement another it. thing. Which is a big deal because even us, when we create a nice little blueprint, you still have to implement the blueprint for yourself. Exactly. So, oh my God, but Chantel, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you, appreciate it. Forget oh, a hug. Yeah, yeah. Get the hug. We'll get the hug. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Thank guys, you. I hope that you guys took enough uh, value on that. I'm going to be inviting some of you guys personally. You're going to see a lot of that information on my Instagram. And just stay tuned, man. We're going to get you guys to the road of financial freedom and home ownership. So we're of excited. Of course. Of course. All right. Pleasure. Take care.